Question 5. Some isotopes emit nuclear radiation. Carbon-14 and carbon-12 are isotopes of carbon. Compare the structure of an atom of carbon-14 with the structure of an atom of carbon-12. Here's carbon-14, carbon-12. The Z here is 6-6, six, six, so they're the same. Same number of protons and atomic number. Z is the atomic number. 2. Same number of electrons, because it's an atom, atoms have the same number of electrons and protons. 3. Different nuclear number or mass number. Nuclear number is the mass number, which is the number of protons plus neutrons. 4. Different neutron numbers. Question 5.2. Carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,700 years. What does a half-life of 5,700 years mean? The time it takes for the number of nuclei or activity or radiation emitted or count rate or mass by a radioactive sample to half is 5,700 years. So the time it takes for the nuclei to decrease by half. Table 1 gives the half-life of some other radioactive isotopes. T to power a half is half-life seconds. 5.3 A sample of fluorine 17 has an activity that is one quarter of its original activity. Calculate the age of the sample of fluorine 17. One quarter means the a quarter of the original. This is fluorine 17. The original mass decreased by half, original over 2, and the half-life is 64.37. Then the, the half again decreases by half, so that's original over 4. Again, the half-life is the same. So if we add the two half-life together, we get 128.74 seconds. So the answer is 128.74 seconds. Question 5.4. All of the isotopes in Table 1 emit beta radiation. Explain which isotope causes the greatest risk to a person's health based only on the half-life of each isotope. The isotope table. Nitrogen 18 has the shortest. So that means it decreases faster. And that means you're going to get more exposure. So nitrogen 18 and it has the greatest activity because half-life is shorter. So radiation emitted. So the greatest dose of radiation absorbs per second. Question 5.5. People who work in the nuclear power industry need to be aware of irradiation and contamination. Describe the difference between irradiation and contamination. 1. Irradiation is the exposure of an object or person to radiation. 2. Contamination is the presence of radioactive material or atoms on an object or person. 5.6. Give one health risk to a person working close to a source of nuclear radiation. Cancer or tumor, DNA, genetic mutation, damages or kills cells, radiation poisoning, sickness or burns. Question 5.7. Workers in nuclear power stations are monitored to check the radiation they emit. A worker stands one centimeter away from a radiation detector. The amount of radiation the worker emits is recorded. Explain why the workers need to stand close to the radiation detector. Some radioactive materials emit alpha radiation. This is alpha in a physics way, that's how you write it, and in chemistry this is how you write it. Alpha is helium nucleus, which has a very short range in air. 5.8. Workers in the nuclear power industry are exposed to nuclear radiation. Pilots on aircraft are exposed to cosmic radiation from space. Daily dose caused by working in a nuclear power station equals 0 0.0005 millisiever. Hourly dose 
from cosmic rays to a pilot while flying equals to 0 0.003 millisiever. Milli is 10 to power minus 3. Calculate the number of days it takes for a nuclear power station worker to receive the same dose as a pilot flying for 24 hours. Pilot's dose in 24 hours is 0 0.003 which is per hour times 24 and that would be 0 0.072 millisieverts. Number of days would be the millisieverts over the daily dose and that would be 0 0.072 divided by 0 0.0005 which will be 144 days so we would write here 144 days you could also do the same question using the nuclear power worker or the ratio of hourly dose over daily dose and that will be 6 and then you want to times 6 by 24 to get 144 days